Hello, uh, I'm going to try to bring some clarity to the Gain Expo attitude and brake controls. They seem redundant and overlapping each other, but I believe this is how they control what you want the bird to do. For example, <clears throat> on the Gain ex on the on the Expo, the controls or the sensitivity of your manual stick input reaction is what I found the situation to be. So, if for example, if you have them set to 0 0.30, what's going to happen is it's going to be a less aggressive approach to the manual input entry. So if you are going to move, for example, in the case, well, let's just say throttle. If you're going to throttle up and go up, the amount of gain in the amount of movement of your finger in, in relation to the amount of input into the engines is softened. Okay, so if the gain, if the, I'm sorry, if the expo is higher, say for example 0.4 or 0.5, then for each movement the reaction will be quicker. The lower the expo, 0.3, the further you have to travel in order to get the same reaction. Okay? <clears throat> now, so you say, well, if that's the case, well, what does attitude do? Attitude, for example, is the reaction of the craft to the reaction of the stick. Okay, so Expo is more how, is more controlling of how does it react in relation to how far you move with the stick. Attitude is when you put that reaction in, how how aggressively does the craft move in relation to that action? So, Expo, how far you need to move to make it happen. Attitude, how fast does the craft react? Does, does, how fast does the craft react to that movement? And then finally, <clears throat> gain. Gain would be, given that input, what is the maximum range of how far that will go? For example, for yaw, I like yaw to be lower so that the camera movements are slower. So if I do my maximum yaw, it will only move to a certain percentage. It will only go at a certain percentage. If my yaw is down, then it will move slower, even if I've given it max input. If it's higher, then obviously it will be, it'll be faster. <clears throat> so with the three settings, what you can do is Expo will give you a lower Expo, 0.3 will give you a more graceful, soft, gooey fill. Okay. Attitude within that gooey fill, attitude will react more quickly or less quickly to your reaction. And then gain will be how far does it move with the reaction with the input that you've given it. So with that being the case, what I've found for me, I like to have relatively soft controls, but I still want some aggressiveness to overcome wind currents and various obstacle avoidance and things like that. So the best of both worlds, at least for now, I've found, and it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a balancing act. What I did is I set it to 0.4 on all three of the, of the Expos. 0.4 is somewhat in the middle, so it offers a a pretty tight line to a linear curve meaning that it's almost it's almost linear but it's a little lazy to the reaction of, a, of, of your input which is good so in other words it's going to react slower at 0 0.4 0 0.3 even slower still 0 0.5 will be faster okay and I'll get to back to this in a minute because that relates to your gains down here the attitude is set defaulted to zero right here it's defaults to zero brake defaults to I'm sorry defaults to hundred percent brake defaults to hundred percent I reduced attitude to ninety percent and I reduced brake to ninety percent when I reduced brake to eighty percent for me it, w it wasn't enough if there's a wind and I'm say ten meters from a building now it's it's getting to the point where you could be sent off course a good 10-15 feet before it breaks and that's it you're done so I keep it at 90 to soften the brake instead of a uh, hundred percent it's like this 
eighty percent it goes too far, and ninety percent gives kind of a, a gushy. So, so it's about a five foot ride to stop. <clears throat> and then the gains, <clears throat> what I put the gains at is I put I left pitch at a hundred percent, roll at a hundred percent, yaw I took it down to ninety percent. And vertical, I believe I backed it off just slightly to 95, and I'll tell you why. The reason why I did these combinations is because on throttle, for example, I have I have it set a little more aggressively at 0.4 because I want a good input reaction. So in other words, when I move, I want it to react relatively quickly. But to that reaction, I don't want the total percentage or the total gain to be a hundred percent anymore. I want it to be a little lazy in the energy input but I want my reaction time for stick input to be more precise and quick. So the two work hand in hand with each other. So a, a, a little bit of a higher gain and a little bit of a lower energy input I'm sorry, expo, a little bit of a higher expo and a little bit of a lower energy gain input will balance one another to kind of soften it but still give you accuracy in your reaction. Um, roll and pitch, I like to keep it 100% gain because I want there to be the ability to maneuver if I need to, but it's been softened by the Expo to 0.4% so that I have to travel further with my finger to actually have a reaction, but if I really need to, it's still there for me, but it's a little softer. Okay, and then the attitude which is the aggressiveness of the reaction to the input at 90 percent that will slow and ease the reaction of the craft to the slowness of the input so I know that's a lot of information I hope it helps but uh, that's what I've worked through it and I found that that is how you use those three variables to arrive at your perfect situation. So just to review again, Expo will be how fast your actual manual sticks react to your entry. Attitude is how fast the craft reacts to those stick inputs. Brake, again, we went through that. That's pretty much self-explanatory. And then your gains are how far will it go given a certain input.